what's going on? It's your boy John Shaw, and I'm back with another video today. We're gonna do some tips and tricks on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So give me a second as we load up, and let me get into a match. Welcome back, Wolverine. We're gonna go ahead and do some regular team death match. All right, so what we're gonna do? We just we're gonna do what I call like lone wolf tactics. You know what I'm saying? So you might not have a team, or you might have a group of people that. What the fuck happened? Or you might have a group of people that um that don't talk. So you still want to be able to do good, even if you have that type of um if you encounter that type of um game. And so, these tactics that I'm going to teach you will help you do that. It'll help you still be able to play, be a team player as well as, you know, contributing and not getting yourself killed by because you can't communicate with your team. Um, let's see if we can even get a damn game in. Something was weird with that. There we go. And as you see, I have a whole team, nobody with mics. You know, you're going to get a lot. Well, I got a couple people with mics. Oh, that's me. Got like one person over here with a mic. You know what I'm saying? That's that's frustrating. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you like see me. I game in the morning. It's like 8:30 now. You know, I don't game with a lot of people. I work at night, so this is what I have to come into every every day when I get ready to go play this game. And so these you know these tactics to help you. That's what I do to keep myself competitive and not get bored either. So one of your first tactics is when you're new and you don't know the maps, stick to the perimeter. The reason why you want to stick to the perimeter is you'll always be able to have at least one side of you that's not that's not going. Nobody's going to come on that side. If you go straight through the middle of the maps and stuff, you're going to have people all directions of you shooting at you and stuff. So stick to the perimeters, and it gives you one less option that you got to look at. That was stupid of me right there. I should have went around. But also, I'm not that good at this jumping crap either, so. That's how I would have ended up it would be dying. Also, another thing that you want to learn, if you're playing, if you're playing core, you want to get you a fast shooting gun. Don't try to go for the high power. It's just, it's, just, it's, it's pointless. Stick to high power guns when you're playing um, hardcore. But when you're playing core, you want to stick to fast shooting guns. The faster the bullets get in them, the faster they die, and then, and then you're happy. See those high power guns? They shoot slow, <coughs> and then you you know they shoot slow. By the time you get like two or three bullets in somebody, they got like six, seven in you. Another thing you want to do is pay attention to the map. See, like I got somebody coming right here. All right, the map, he just must went somewhere else. And see, as you see, like, as I'm coming in, now I have all these different directions I got to look at. And see, that's a mistake if you're new to the map and you don't know the map. I know there's some guy right here. Now, as you see, I don't have no teammates around me. That's bad. So what that means is there's going to be some enemies spawning over here. Now I got a couple teammates right here. But I always check the map. And if you see that you're alone and your teammates are not near you, then that means you most likely an enemy is about to spawn up next to you. Mm, that whole team over there. So when you got people like that that like to sit down there and camp out, 
just flank around. Don't keep don't keep pushing it over there. That was stupid to me. I seen I knew they were over there and I shouldn't have kept pushing it. Also, when you get in the gunfight, don't push it. You know what I'm saying? You see, if, if, if I would have pushed it nine times out of ten, I would have died right there. Sometimes you got to learn know when to know when to back out. And I seen that guy over there sniping, so I'm not even going to go over there. Teammate got him. And as you um, make your way around the perimeter, you can like every so and often you kind of push inside, see, you know, get your feel a little bit. That was some lag right there. I don't know about that shit. Definitely don't want to run into that damn thing. And see, as you see right here, I'm about to run into some enemies because I don't have no, no friendlies over here. See? I should have kept going. I didn't have enough health. I mean, if you're going to sit there, I mean, do least do something. Damn. As you see right there, the spine flipped real quick. I got double pain as fuck. Enemy 
But anyway, you just take your time, play it smart, stick to perimeter, make sure you're around your teammates, because if not, then you need to get, it, you need to get, get to them real quick, because, you know, that means you're about to get around some enemies. Well but it's just little quick little tips for, you know, beginners or whatever. Uh, if you veteran Call of Duty player, then no, this is not for you. But um, anyway, this is your boy, John Shaw. This has been Tips and Tricks Tuesday, 7 to 7 Gaming. Peace out. Just rank up, soldier. Whipping in.